Hello YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing you how to host your own website using Google's Firebase. What you first want to do is you want to go to console.firebase.google.com. Then, after you have done that, you should be uh, you should be shown a website similar to this. If you don't get this, you may have to sign in or just click go or something like that. So, um, but this is what shows up when I go into it since I already have a project and I've been working on it for a while. So uh, what you first want to do is you want to click add a project. So once you hit add a project, you have to name your project. So you can name this anything. However, I'm going to name this something just along the lines of what I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to name it YouTube tutorial. This is your project ID, which um, you need to be able to Remember, however, you can find it easily, but this is what you're going to use if you ever want to call on your website. And this is what your default website URL is going to be. So I'm, so we have to name this something that people have not used before. So, oh, it has to start with a lowercase letter. So yeah. I don't know why it's still saying that, but okay, I'm just going to hit create project and that should be good. And uh, after it's done doing this, you'll be brought into the dashboard if it decides to finish loading. So I'm going to I'm gonna come back when that's, oh, oh, never mind, it's done. So um, then after you've done that, you want to go on to hosting on the left, then click get started. So this is um, what you want to do when, this is what you'd have to do on your Raspberry Pi or whatever Linux machine you want to use. However, I'm going to be using my Raspberry Pi as a good example for low budget people who are trying to get a website up and running. So to install Firebase tools, you need to go onto your Raspberry Pi and enter this into there. But first you need to make sure that you have Node.js fully installed and have the latest version. There are good tutorials on that, however, I'm going to make a tutorial soon. And once I finish that tutorial, I will put it in the description below. But, and my also, my discord.js tutorial has part of that, how to install Node.js, the full version, or the newest version. So now we're just going to go onto our Raspberry Pi and install Firebase tools. After you get onto your Raspberry Pi, you want to open up the console. Once you have the console open, you want to type in sudo npm install dash g firebase dash tools. Hit enter. Then it'll proceed to start the download. And this may take a while, so I'm going to be back when this is finished. After you have installed the Firebase tools, you want to click continue on your main computer. Then we need to do all of this stuff on our Raspberry Pi or the Linux machine that you are using again. After you've done that, we now need to create a directory for our website. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our desktop and go to create new, then hit folder. After that, type in what you want to name your folder that you will put your website into. Um, I'm just going to name it after the project name, but you can name it anything you want. Oh, wow, I cannot spell right now. Okay, good enough. So then click OK, and then open up your folder. Then open a uh, terminal. Then we need to CD into the folder. So we I need to type in uh, the directory or path to um, our folder. So mine is in the home folder. So we type in a squiggly line slash desktop since we put it on the desktop then slash YouTube. Ooh, everything froze. I'm just going to keep typing and then it'll unfreeze hopefully. And it did. So just type in the path to your folder and hit enter. And then we need to type in Firebase 
login. And since I'm already logged in, it'll just say that I'm already logged in. What you'll do, what will happen is it'll open up the browser on your machine and you'll just have to sign into Google with the same account that you used for Firebase. Then you need to type in Firebase in it, short for initialization. Then uh, this will come up with a list of features that we want to enable. So we're just going to enable hosting since that's all we're going to be doing with this. So then we hit enter. Then first let's associate this project directly with a Firebase project. You can create multiple project ali aliases by running Firebase use dash dash add. But for now we'll just set up a default project. So select the um, project that you want to use for your website. So mine is your tutorial and we press enter. Your public directory is in the folder relative to your project directory that will contain hosting assets to be uploaded with Firebase Deploy. If you have a build process for your assets, use your build output directory. So what do you want to use as your public directory? We'll just leave it to default, so we press enter. Configure as a single page app, I'm going to say yes. And there we go, now we have our project initialized. Now if we go into the folder, and we go into the public folder, which is our website, we can right click it and hit open with any text editor that, editor that you would like and we can see our website. So to make sure our website is working, we need to type in Firebase Serve. And then this will take a little bit, but basically what will happen is you will get a link that is only, um, that you can only access on your machine or network. So we want to copy the URL that it gives us right here then we want to go into our web browser, and this may take a little bit since the storage that I have on my Raspberry Pi is not that fast. And then we paste the link into um, our URL bar. Then this will say, welcome to Firebase, Fire, host, Firebase hosting setup complete. Now it'll tell us that we want to go to the documentation and learn how to do everything, which you probably do want to do. However, we're not gonna do that for now. So now we're just going to go into our text editor and edit it. So you can see the title. The title is what is here up here. Welcome to Firebase Hosting. So let's let's change the title and see what happens. So um, we're going to type in YouTube tutorial for the fact that we have nothing else to do or name it. So we press Control S to save the file. Then we need to go back into our web browser and hit F5 or just refresh the page. Now you can see the title has changed. Say we want to change like um, the body of the text of the website. So we're just gonna, since we have this working, we can already remove all of this. On. And we're just going to, um, So we're just going to say, we're going to create a header. So um, we do H2 or H1 or H3, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to do H2. Then we need to type in what we want our header to say. So we, I'm just going to have welcome. Then we need to do, um, we need to start a tag slash H2 or H1 or whatever. So this is HTML, so you can learn how to um, program or use HTML by a multitude of tutorials on the internet. Um, there's like Khan Academy tutorials and there's also ones that are just on YouTube. So now if we save it and then go to our web browser, press F5, it just says welcome, which is what we are expecting. So now to upload this to the internet, we need to um, stop the um, we need to stop serving it, so we need to press Control C to shut it down, and then we need to type in Firebase Deploy. Then this will upload our website to um, Firebase. Then when we go back into our Firebase console and then click the hosting tab, we will see our website and its domain. So this will take a while, or actually, no, it won't take any time at all since we don't have that much on our website. 
So um, now I'm going to go over to our host computer or our main computer and I'm going to show you what to do next. Now that we are back in our Firebase console, we can see that we have deployed it. So this is our deployment history. I deployed it back here because um, I messed up the recording, but I just redid it, so don't worry about that. So then we need to click um, the domain. You can connect your own domain. However, you need to pay for that um, to get your own domain. But you could, you might be able to find a free domain somewhere, but I'm not sure how you would get that set up. I do have my own domain on my current website that I purchased. So um, let's open our domain. Then it'll bring us to our website and we can see that it says welcome. And if we right click the website and click inspect, uh, we can see everything that it wanted. So this is what we entered inside our text. So we have all of our headers. So the title is YouTube tutorial. If we press, and we can see that our link is called YouTube Tutorial. So, yes, this is how you create your Firebase website on your Raspberry Pi or any other Linux machine that you would like to do this with. And it's really simple, and I think that this can be really useful if you're trying to create a cheap website. If you um, enjoyed this video, please leave a like or subscribe. Um, after you leave a like or subscribe, or you can do both, you can click the bell icon because then you get notified and notifications are good for me, not for you. Maybe for you. I don't know. Well, goodbye.